we have already seen how you can perform input and output operations over the byte data but now let us see if you have to perform on character stream how do you do that a character stream usually support on 16 bit byte data and whereas the byte stream allows you to perform the input and output operations over 8 bit byte information and normally the classes which are available to perform input and output operations on these character streams are file reader and file writer. Although the file reader uses file input stream internally and file read writer uses file output stream internally to perform these input and output operations. But the main difference between the byte and the character stream where the file reader and file input stream would be that the character stream file reader and file writer uses two bytes at a time. So let us do a thing, let us understand these with the help of an example how you can write a data or how you can read a data and how is it different from your byte input and output stream. So in the first example we are using the package java.io.asterisk we are importing this package because it includes all the classes which are available to perform these operation and in this class we are trying to write certain data. So let us understand in the main method you have written that it throws io exception it may and then in the bracket we will write about the file writer class. We are using a file writer class to write the data to our destination file and this data may be of your character type. So initially you provide the value as null and then you initialize the value with your file name. So you write as file writer equal to space out is equal to null and then out is equal to new file writer and this in this file writer you provide what is your text file name. And once you provide your text file name, you are saying that you would want to write the data in it. If you recall in our previous videos where we used file output stream to write a single byte, then we called a write method provide the data in the bracket. But if you had to write the same message which is called welcome to tutorials point, in that case you had to create an array of bytes, get each byte, store it in the array of bytes and then so, uh, save it in your destination file. That is the destination file would allow you to store each byte at a time. But where you want to store the complete string at the time, in those cases you use file writer where you can call the write method of file writer class and directly write the data. So you call the object that is the write method over the file writer object. So you write out dot write in the bracket you write the data what needs to be written to your destination file. Finally you need to close the connection again you have a close method to close the resources and all. So you need to call over your file writer class and that is out.close. So now when you have successfully written the block of statements which will execute to write the data to a destination file provided then you need to catch if there is an exception and print that exception. So let us execute this program practically to understand how you use a file writer to write the string of information over your destination file. So let us now see how you can write to a file using a file writer. Earlier we had used file output stream to write certain bytes to a file. But when you want to write certain characters or a text then it's good practice or recommended to use file writer. We have created a class called copy file in that we have written our main method. In that main method we use the file writer class. Initially we have provided the value to this file writer class as null and now in the try block we shall create its constructor that is we should actually create the object that is out is nothing but your file writer object so you write out is equal to new file writer and you need to provide the file in which you would want to write the data. Now we say that we would want to write a particular data one way is that what we have earlier seen you can declare a variable and then write this particular data in your out file. This is one way 
the other way is directly writing the data in your write method so you do have a write method for your file writer class which enables you to write the data to your file we have written welcome to tutorials point so now this cat.txt file should hold the information called welcome to tutorials point once you execute the program and once on execution successfully it will print as a message success and then we need to close the file writer class and then if there is an exception it will be catched by your catch block which is your exception handler so let us execute this program it says success now we shall go back to e drive files and then car dot text file so now you see it has written welcome to tutorials point so this is one way of writing and the other one was that we have already seen by using file output stream so one way to write character data is file output stream but file output stream is mainly used to write the bytes whereas file writer helps you to write number of data that you would want to write so in this example let us now see how do you use a file reader class to read the string or the characters of information and then display on the output. So we have imported the package java.io.asterisk which come includes or consists of all the classes which may be useful to run your this particular file right. So we have created a class called read file in the method we say it may throw an io exception and then you write try catch block initially you have initialized the file reader class with a null value later with the help of a new object a new keyword you create the object of this particular class and then in the constructor parameters you provide the value of your file that is your file name in which or from which you are trying to read the data so we have written in is equal to new file reader where in is your file reader class object with the help of new keyword you are creating this object in the constructor you have provided the file from where you are trying to read the data and then once now you know from where you have to read the data you need to call a read method over this object which consists of the file in order to read the data and then display similarly like what we have done in file input stream we have taken or used a while loop to read the data similarly we do it here here we take it as in dot read you store it in a variable and until unless it is minus one you keep reading that and in this you don't have to convert because it will directly be displayed and then finally you close this file and to close the class you use a close method that you call over your file reader class and now once you know that you have successfully able to read the data and then you have to close the connection and once it is done if there is an exception it will be cached in your exception class right and this exception handler will hold this kind of an exception and if you want to know again i'm repeating if you want to know what kind of an exception and where it has occurred you would use a print stack trace method so let us execute this program practically to understand in detail how you can read the data from a file using a file reader class this is an example of file reader class which helps you to read the set of characters or string of data from a file and then display here we had already done this using file input stream which helped us to read the number of bytes however we can also read the characters using file input stream but it is recommended to use file reader if you would want to read number of text so here we have created a class called read file and under the main method we will create a file reader class which will hold the information about the file so we have written file reader which is your class name and then the object equals to null initially we have initialized the value of file reader class to null and then in the try block we are trying to provide the information that is we are trying to initialize the constructor with the value that is we write in equals to new file reader and then the file name and if you think this is confusing you can also remove this from here and then directly declare it here you do not have to make it twice you don't have to initialize the value as null 
you can write it in this way and the other way was to initialize the value initially as null and then provide the value so now the file reader shall read this file and now in order to read file we need a integer right because it will read the number and then convert this integer into a character format we use a while loop because we want to read a set of characters available in that file if it was a single character we would have directly read and no while loop was needed but there are n number of data so we have to use while loop then in while loop we are trying to read this file which is in so in dot read read is the method on this file reader class and then you are trying to store the value in i until unless it is minus 1 that is until unless the whole file is read and when you are reading the file and storing, storing it in i please display i and we have cascaded with char because we want to display the data in character format and not integer format once it is done we need to close this particular file and then that is after you close your while loop you are trying to close the file reader class and then if there is an exception it will hold that so let us execute this file and it says welcome to tutorials point so this is how you use file reader and writer to read or write the characters from or to a file